Micro earthquakes preceding a 4.2 magnitude earthquake near Istanbul, Turkey. Is that an early warning sign? Well, of course it would be. And we have the location of Istanbul right on, as you'll see from the map, a huge fault line which goes across the Aegean Sea and into Greece. It's called the Anatolian Plate, and it's a huge and very um, strong, well, it gives strong earthquakes. A new study led by Peter Malin and Marco Bonhoff of the GFZ German Research Center for Geosciences reports on the observation of four shocks that, if analyzed accordingly and in real time, may possibly increase the early warning time before a large earthquake from just a few seconds up to several hours. One of the high-risk geological structures lies near Istanbul. It's a megacity of 15 million people. The North Anatolian Fault, separating the Eurasian and Anatolian tectonic plates, is a 1,200 kilometer long fault zone running between eastern Turkey and the northern Aegean Sea, that's between the sea between uh, Turkey and Greece. Since the beginning of the 20th century, its seismic activity has caused more than 20,000 deaths. A large seven um, mega, um, magnitude earthquake is overdue in the Marmara section of the fault, just south of Istanbul, so that's bad news. A new study is promising, but the authors are being cautious. Quote, the results are so far based on only one encouraging field example for an earthquake preparation sequence typically known from repeated rock deformation laboratory experiments under controlled conditions, says Marco Bonhoff. The study, a collaboration with colleagues from the AFAD AFAD Disaster and Emergency Management Presidency in Turkey, uses waveform data from the recently implemented GONAF borehole seismic network. GONAF operates at low magnitude detection and it allows the research to identify a series of micro earthquakes prior to an earthquake of magnitude 4.2 that occurred in June 2016 south of Istanbul and which was the largest event in the region in several years. In the latest issue of Scientific Reports, seismic data from GONAF network set up by GFC in collaboration with AFAD along with the Marmara Sea near Istanbul is processed and analyzed with novel processing techniques. The high-resolution borehole seismic array allowed for the detection of tens of seismic events prior to the main shock. These small events would have been below the detection threshold for most seismic networks worldwide. By means of the new processing technique, clustering and similarity of the seismic signals was shown to substantially increase in hours in, uh, in the hours prior to the magnitude 4.2 earthquake. If this so-called emergent failure process were a persistent feature of seismicity there, implementing real-time processing of the novel technique could extend the warning time for future earthquakes in the Istanbul region and lead to a major improvement in the early warning system for the densely populated area of the Turkish megacity. Quote, our study shows a substantial increase in self-similarity self to the microquakes during the hours before the main shock, says Professor Bonhoff of GFZ. And he adds, while the current early warning system in place in Istanbul relies on the arrival times of seismic waves emitted from the hypocenter to the city and is therefore restricted to a couple of seconds at maximum, while similar precursor activity has been detected for recent large earthquakes in Japan, 2011 mega, the uh, magnitude 9, and Chile 2014 magnitude 8.1, this is at present by no means a ubiquitous observation and needs further testing before its implementation. This journal references scientific reports and is on, on fizz.org. I have been to Turkey three times to Istanbul and I know how those apartment buildings are built. Let me tell you how they're built. They're like little containers of chicken wire cement piled on top of each other and they're somehow fastened onto each other 
and that's how they make their apartment buildings to go up fast. And obviously, when uh, uh, an earthquake occurs, these are very easily e easily tumbled over. And this is my observation because when I was visiting, I saw how those apartment blocks were being put up. Unfortunately, they are not anti-seismic construction. So I'll leave a link below for you for this on fizz.org.